what is going on everybody welcome back to another video in today's video we've got a jam-packed video we're going to be doing an unboxing i'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a quarantine tank i might even give you a sneak peek on one of the pairs we might be breeding this year with one of our crusty gecko pairs so i might show you guys that if you stick around until the end i'm also going to be showing you guys how to weigh crusty geckos and the weights of the four brand new ones that we're getting today from pangea reptile so Make sure you guys stick around until the very end because you're not going to want to miss a thing. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Start with this one first. He looks good. Lots of spots. Nice big head. Ink spots, looks like super Dalmatian because all the spots, looks very good. We're gonna name this boy Napoleon. Very, very cute. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you how I set up a quarantine tank for these guys. Probably just show you guys one and then I'll do a time lapse of the rest just so I can show you guys how I set up my quarantine tanks. Uh, so let's get into it. So first thing I like to do is start off with some branches. So these branches that I use are just pipe insulators. You can get these at Ace or Home Depot or somewhere like that. They work extremely well for branches. I did make a video on how I make these. If you guys want to check that out, it'll be linked in the description. But first I start with the branches. Then I add a water dish. Then I add a little hide, which is just a toilet paper roll and that's just like a sunny decap for the water lid. And then we can add our plant. Then I add some moss for a humid hide or a lay box for the females. I soak that down. Alright guys, so as you just saw, the tank is all set up now, Napoleon, and I'm not going to show you who we're going to pair him to yet this year, that'll be in an upcoming video, but stick around for sure if you guys want to see that and make sure your notifications are on, but we're going to grab Napoleon now, and I already had him out a second ago, just to look at him, super pretty gecko, but he's kind of spazzy, I don't know, if, I mean, I'm not, I don't know. I, I don't really know how much Pangea holds their geckos because uh, unless these guys are just crazy, but these guys are literally psychotic. This one is at least. I think these haven't been handled though. Being in my home, they're gonna be handled a ton, not necessarily while breeding, but um, they will be handled a ton. Very cute boy. Like I said, his name is Napoleon. The reason we got him were be was because of his light base and the fact that he's got a ton of spots, brown spots, black spots. A uh, ton of cool spots, ink spots, very pretty gecko. We're going to be pairing him to a few females, I believe, this year. So I will show you guys that, like I said, in a future video. But let's put him down in this tank. And then I'll miss him too, since he's been traveling for the last day. Mm -hmm. 
All right, and the Napoleon is done. Oh, and I'll be adding a humid height. I just need to make one of the other ones that I already showed you guys, um, like this. But I just want to give the make sure the females have theirs first, and then I can give him one um, tomorrow when I make the other one, or in a little bit when I make the other one. All right, guys, so that was Napoleon. Now this next one. stuck down at the bottom man oh man all right guys so this is the next one as you guys can see she just recently lost her tail which Pangea did tell me that before they shipped them but this is the one that just lost her tail she's not flaring whatsoever right now but she is a female red phantom uh, with some portholes, looks very, very cute. We'll get her out in a minute. I'll show you guys her more better, but very cute. All right, guys, so the main reason we got her was because she was a red, she had portholes, and then if you guys can kind of tell, she's got little, almost like ink spots and little Dalmatian spots throughout her body. So we were thinking, why not? Um, we're already getting the other ones. We might as well see if she can produce some Dalmatian or if she's got some Dalmatian spots in her because that would be nice to mix in to go with our reds. Nice big head, nice good structure. That's why we got her. All right, guys. So this is Patty, the red phantom, who did end up losing her tail since I had bought her. Uh, kind of sucks, but at the end of the day, I mean, geckos lose their tails, so it's not the end of the world. But that looks relatively recent because that black, um, I, I guess blood or whatever that is. Let me get her out. She's not flaring whatsoever right now, obviously. That's why she's so pale looking. But very, oops, but very, very cute. got nice portholes she's going to be a great breeder for us if not this year in the future but I think she um, will make weight but I want her tail to heal before I pair her up or anything like that and obviously she's got to go through a little bit of a quarantine um, but I'll talk more about that later on in the video Alright guys, without any further ado, let's get her down into her tank. Very cute girl. Alright, Patty is done. Alright guys, so the next one... Guys, this one we're gonna name Rain. Look at all those spots. There's a ton of spots. And she is a red female super Dalmatian, as you guys can see. Looks like she might have a few ink spots on her tail. Very cute. We have Rain, which is the red female Super Dalmatian that we got, which has red spots and black spots. Let me look at her, because she might have more color spots, honestly. But you guys can probably guess who she's going to be going to. Um, I'm not gonna tell you yet, but I mean, if you guess it, you, you might already know. But there she is, very pretty. All right, she does not want to be held just like pretty much all of them. So I'm going to put her back in her or down into her tank. Got some ink spots on there too, but all right, here she goes. 
I'm gonna mist her as well since she's been traveling like I've done with all of them. All right guys, and then the last one is going to be Storm. She is a female, looks like Super Dalmatian. With some ink spots, dang. Wow, she's really pretty. And again, I'll show you guys all these better in a second. Wow. And now this is Storm, and this is going to be paired, or she is going to be paired with Charcoal, which I will show you guys. Here she is. Very cute. Now the reason we got her was because she was darker and we we're trying to have a dark line. That's why she's going with charcoal. But very, very cute, obviously very jumpy. Maybe it wasn't handled very much, I don't know. But I wanted you guys to see the blushing under her neck. You guys can kind of see it right there. Look at all that blushing under there. Very, very cool. But she's going to be paired to charcoal, like I said. Very cool. So let's add her to her tank. There she goes. Give her a little mist since she's been traveling for the last day. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Shoot me some comments of what you guys thought. I love hearing from you guys, and I love responding to you guys. Make sure you hit that notification bell on and hit all notifications. I know some people were um, talking about they, they weren't getting notified or, or something like that. So make sure you hit all notifications, and when you do, you'll get every single notification every single time I post. Don't have FOMO, because we're growing, and if you, if you miss out, you miss out. And you can always go back and watch videos, but you know what I'm saying. All right, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.